please explain how Bacon's rebellion shaped race relations in America, right? And why you say America's number one business is racism. Absolutely. When we look at Bacon's rebellion, we're looking at the coming together of black and whites against their common oppressor, right? So obviously, early on in this country's history, the white power structure saw that we can't allow poor whites to align themselves with poor blacks because now you have a mutual consent army that we have to crush. But I would also argue that those white people who participated in Bacon's rebellion still did not consider those black people their equals. They simply were using their numerical strength, much like the Democratic Party does today, in order to achieve a victory against their white brother. So I don't think it was a truly egalitarian race revolt. I think it was one of necessity and opportunity. The reason I say that racism is the number one business of America, because number one, the country was founded, forged, maintained and expanded on principles of black oppression. America is rooted in the need to oppress black people. Her economy grew up around slavery, which was the exploitation of black labor and black life. So you can never find a period in America where racism was not a main concept in its political, economic and social structure. With that being said, we have to look at the money that black, that white people make, that America makes through black oppression. Look at the billions that the criminal justice system makes. Look at the billions that poor health care makes. Look at the billions that is made in jobs for the police, fire department, a social work. I mean, absolutely black failure and black oppression is one of the biggest businesses this country has. I remember I was watching the movie with uh, Denzel Washington. What was the gangster movie? Rain of Day? No, no, no. With, with Russell Crowe and Denzel. Denzel was playing the life story of the gangster from New York. Who, American gangster. American gangster. There's a scene in there where Russell Crowe, the cop, he says, guess what? This country don't ever want to stop drugs. He said, too many people are getting paid off of this. He said, look at the cops. Look at, look at, look at all the people who make money from black people being locked up, right? Uh, a, a commissary, phone calls, clothes, socks. Black people being in prison is too much of an economic stimulus for America to do away with it. So in the beginning, it was slavery. Today it's incarceration. We can look at foster care. Look at the amount of white people who are able to live a comfortable life in the suburbs without a job just by being a foster parent to mentally diagnosed mentally ill black children. Nothing may be wrong with them, but they're walking around ADHD, conduct disorder, conduct disorder psychotic, schizophrenic, and so forth. They're giving them, what, $2,500 a kid in some cases, $1,500 a kid. So you see these white couples, they got three or four black foster kids paying all their bills, living nice and comfortable in the suburbs. Look at the nonprofit corporations. The whole world of social service and nonprofit ain't nothing but a black hustle. You got white hustle, excuse me. You got all these white people in the black community. What are you doing? Well, I'm making money uh, taking care of the black homeless. I'm making money taking care of the black addicts. I'm making money taking care of the black teenage pregnancy. I'm making money taking care of the black ex-offenders. You're not solving no problems. You're just putting Band-Aids on problems. You follow me? Poverty pimping. White folks are known for that. I can think back to when I was working at the school district of Philadelphia. I can't even count how many different white people came up to me asking if they could use my credentials on paper to get this grant, get this grant, get this grant. And they'll straight up tell you, we can give you $50,000. Let us use your name. Say you're going to be a part of this program, $50,000. White folks are making millions of dollars poverty pimping black people's issues. Racism is still the number one business in America. It wins elections. It protects the white community. It leads to gentrification, police genocide. Show me an issue in this society that is not colored by race and by the racism specific anti-black racism.